to be the worst cruise ever! I knew winning that cruise line ticket at the grocery store was too good to be true. Yeah, one minute you're enjoying the ocean breeze and taking in the view, then the next you're panicking to try to get on the next lifeboat. Speaking of, we're running out of lifeboats, buddies. What do we do? Let's put that football train into good use and bum rush to the end of the line. No, that wouldn't work. It's women and children first, so we still wouldn't be able to get on immediately even if we were next in line. Why'd our human have to be a grown man? This sucks. Well, he has the mind of an illiterate little boy. So maybe that counts? Hey, I resent that. But wouldn't we at least be able to save the girl we're with if we get her to a lifeboat immediately? Hmm, she seems to be way too in love with our human to want to leave him like that. Aw, true love does conquer all. It would be great if it conquered a lifeboat for us to board. But we are great swimmers, guys. Remember that episode where we were diving and all that? Yeah, why can't we swim our way out of the Titanic? Well, we're currently in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean, which has a near-freezing temperature of about 4 or 5 degrees Celsius. If we jump in now like some others have already done, we would soon die from immersion hypothermia. Hippopotamus? In the Atlantic? Hypothermia, heart. Doctor, are you here to save us? Nope, but I can answer some of your medical questions. Oh, man. I, I mean... Oh, man! Hypothermia is also known as low body temperature. Uh, but we've already discussed hypothermia before. Ahem. Yes, well, it bears repeating. It's a condition that occurs when the body's temperature drops below 35 degrees Celsius. At that point, the brain and body can't function properly. Ah! In your case, you'll specifically experience immersion hypothermia, or cold water immersion syndrome. It's a condition that can occur after prolonged exposure to cold water. Left untreated, it can lead to cardiac arrest. This is when the heart stops beating and will result in death. Oh no, I'll be the first to go. Oh, what a cruel fate. I've got an idea. Let's just stay in the ship as long as possible. Great idea. That way, we're either rescued or we avoid freezing for as long as we can. That's not a great idea either. If you stay with the ship until its final plunge underwater, you'll get sucked down along with it and drown. Which means our mouth and nose get filled with liquid, which then suffocates us. Nasty way to go. Yup, if a person is submerged for four to six minutes without resuscitation, it will result in brain damage and eventually death. Yeah, yeah, we remember. So, the best plan is to stay on the boat for a while longer, but jump before the final plunge? Uh, maybe? Oh, this situation sucks! How the heck did we hit the darn iceberg anyway? Based on what we know, the iceberg seems to be 50 to 100 feet high and 400 feet long. Only about 16% of most weathered icebergs are above water, so the total must have been about 300 to 600 feet deep and about 400 feet long. So, still quite a bit smaller than Mount Rushmore. Icebergs are cool. <laughs> nice one. Seriously, bro? But the point remains, how on earth did we not avoid the massive thing? One reason may have been that the weather was acting particularly odd tonight. Atmospheric conditions could have caused a phenomenon called super refraction. Is that a new Marvel movie or something? Maybe someday. But no, super refraction is a bending of light that could have created mirages or optical illusions, making the iceberg difficult to spot or appear at distances farther than where it actually is. It can be caused by a flow of warm, moist air over cooler surfaces, especially water. Oh, just our luck that such an awesome sounding phenomenon could cause such a terrible disaster. But, but it shouldn't. The Titanic said to be unsinkable! The bulkheads in the ship are all supposed to be watertight, but there is some speculation that low-quality steel and weak rivets were used in the construction, causing them to eventually rupture when the flooding started. Ah! We're not gonna make it! This is it! Save us! Anyways, this place is kind of cold, so I gotta go have a nice swim! Ah! Oh, cold. Yeah, it sure is freezing. Hey, Rain, how long can we last before dying to, uh, 
Hypothermy, what's it? The current temperature is about 15 to 45 minutes. The good news is that there are ships headed our way to rescue us, but the bad news is that I think the nearest one is still a few hours away. I'm not so confident in our chances. Why does the girl get to be the one on the raft? We can both definitely fit! Or just toss her into the ocean! That's a monstrous thing to say! The gentlemanly thing to do is let the lady stay dry! But my brother has a point! We can both try to fit! That might work, but this plank of wood isn't that large. There's a big chance we'll just capsize it and drown. Uh, if only the doctor was here! You called! <laughs> What are you, didn't you leave? Never! Okay, so we're trying to figure out if we try to squeeze into the raft. We'll die if we keep this debate going, so help us out. In my medical opinion, heads or tails? What? Uh, heads? Heads? Oh, this plan is definitely going to work. What? That's how we're deciding things? Okay, okay, fine. There is a slim chance that this harebrained scheme will work if both your human and the girl manage to keep their cores and upper bodies completely away from the water. Meaning they have to both stand up on the raft? That's right. They have to both be standing up and maintaining their balance to prevent the raft from capsizing for several hours until they're rescued by the nearest ship. That doesn't sound too hard. It's easier said than done. Remember that the environment is still very cold. And since your human will have just gotten out of the water, he'll be shivering like crazy once he gets on that raft, making it mighty tricky to stay upright and balanced. Can we just not shiver voluntarily? Nope, it's a natural response to cold by creating warmth via energy expenditure. And it's automatic. This sounds really risky. I say we stay in the water and sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. Which is? Love. There's no greater force in the universe than love. Well, I love my life. Dang it, you got me there. Besides, we just met this girl for crying out loud. But, 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 but nothing hard. Anyways, episode's almost over. Hurry it up if you want to make it to the next one alive and all. Ugh, so much pressure. Oh, we're only wasting time arguing when our human could be taking action. I say we put it to a vote. Heart and the lungs have both made good points. So I guess the only fair way to go about this is by holding a vote. Let's do it. Ooh, this is going to be the best vote ever. Those in favor of boarding the raft? Aye. All opposed? Hey! The eyes have it. Sorry, Hart. Oh, hope you know what you're doing. We can do this, buddies. We'll fit onto this raft, then get rescued for sure. We... Oh, some popcorn. So good. Goodbye, human buddy. I'll never let you go. Okay, time to prepare for the next video. Bye! Subscribe!